Wow, can you guys believe we are almost done with the course? Well, at least we're over halfway done with it. This week we're going to start on part two of our observation project. We're going to take a look at the documentation we created in part one, and then we're going to do some assessment based off that documentation. Remember, this is how we make our assessment valid. We use the observations, put them into reliable and objective documentation, and that's where we get assessment that is valid. Remember this assignment is based off of our student learning outcome number two, complete systematic observations and assessments using a variety of data collection methods to inform environment, design, interactions, and curriculum. So part three is gonna be making curriculum from our assessments. We're gonna go over this assignment in detail to help clarify some of those points. It is a lengthy assignment. We've already done part one, but this is going to clearly demonstrate that entire cycle that we've talked about through the course. We're gonna revisit those original four anecdotal observations that you submitted a couple of weeks ago. You're going to need to also revisit the desired results developmental profile 2015. Now I know a lot of you are still familiar with the DRDPR. I know I used it for years. You had all the measures memorized. You could say it off the top of your head, but DRDPR, DRDP 2015 is here to say it's obviously been over three years now. So we're going to take our pieces of our anecdotal observations and we're going to use pieces as our evidence for at least two measures of the DRDP 2015. 